video will give you a quick overview of uh, what it looks like on the iPad uh, to have the Timer Pro uh, installed here. This is the icon, Timer Pro iPad here, and clicking on that will open up the main menu. In the main menu, you can select templates. You can have any number of templates. You can create new studies, open the last use study, open an existing study, delete existing study, calculate how many observations are required for your time studies, and of course, end the session. And typically, you would start by clicking on your select template to uh, identify the template you want to use. Here we are where we can select the templates. You can have any number of templates here. You'd highlight the template you wanted to use and click on the Use button here. Back on the main menu, you then do Create New Study and give it a name, and then it would give you access to the data collection screen. In the data collection screen itself, the template design that you've put together in Excel will now be presented to you. And of course, you can start making entries here like you see being done here. Uh, you can have any number of elements here. Uh, this is performance rating. You can uh, hear the time shown here. The currently recorded time is running at the bottom here. It will be displayed in four decimal places and finally recorded in three here. You can stop, you can time, you can go to data, add additional data. Add to last, that's for interruptions. Skip would be for fumbles. Subject is to have up to 10 different subjects could be timed simultaneously. If you have a, the repeat button here would be, this is off right now. Uh, if you hit the repeat button, hitting the time would give you the same element over and over again. And there's various functions down at the bottom that let you access the element definitions and so forth. In this screen, you can see that we are uh, doing a repeat of the same element. The repeat's on, and therefore you get the same element over and over again here. To any observation, you can add additional data. Again, these uh, variables here and the options available would be defined in Excel and passed down into the iPad. Um, you can highlight any, click any particular option in the right here, shaded, and it will pop up all the uh, different variables that you have available. Here, this is for my notes. You can see the mechanical problem is highlighted here. It's been automatically put into the uh, input field in the background. On the main data collection screen, you can drill down. For instance, here's get part. It's a large part. It's heavy, two people. And these are two options underneath this you can select from. So it's very easy to move around and make selections of the elements you're observing. You can time up to 10 subjects simultaneously. Uh, here we've got operator 1, operator 2, operator 3. You can see in the background we're recording operator number one here. Um, if you wanted to select operator two, operator two would show up here and you could start a separate time study for operator two, uh, timing that person simultaneously as you make your observations. There are various uh, timing parameters you can set up for auto start on click. So in other words, when you touch something, it'll stop an element or start an element to, to, to perform the timing you're looking for here. And um, you can also get the versions and study details are recorded in real time as well. Generally, the templates are defined in Excel and downloaded into the iPad. But you can, of course, add and delete and so forth your elements as you go through. It's very easy to add additional observations for things you weren't expecting, perhaps. Upon completion of your time study, you can get a summary here. Total recorded time, the level time. Uh, value added time, non value added, required non value added, avoidable delays, unavoidable delays. You click on the details, you can drill down to more information. You can set up your PFD, whether you want minutes, all subjects are individual, statistical tolerances. You can go to required observations, operator performance, final standard, and return back to the main screen. This is the required observation screen. It shows you how many observations you've made and how many observations you have to make to be statistically accurate. This is the individual's operator performance. It shows you the, uh, the rating is consistent here. We didn't actually performance rate this. But here you've got the, uh, the, times, the study proportion. This is where he's spending his time on different activities. And here's your final standard by activity. And the summary screen so showing you the total time, standard minutes, units per hour, and so forth as you would expect from any time study. The time study data collected in the iPad is then passed back into Excel, where we can go to, you can see all the raw data summarized here. And uh, this is a listing of everything you've observed. We go to the main menu, we say generate reports. We select the raw data we're looking for. We select the report we want to run. And we click on the OK. And a couple of seconds later, it summarized it for me, for us. We've got a whole bunch of different um, reports available to you. 
let me take advantage of and of course you can uh, add your own um, report designs to the outputs that we give you here okay so again this is a very quick overview of the general capabilities of the timer pro uh, time study data collection on the ipad